Washington. It's gridlock, division, bitter partisanship. But one jobs plan brings both sides together. Bill Clinton and George Bush both say build the Keystone XL. Warren Buffett, too. So do 82% of Americans. And the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, USA Today. It makes so much sense, even a divided Congress approved it. Unions and business, too. This decision's easy. Let's build the Keystone XL. Well, a stunning about face from a federal agency, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, known as HUD, is changing now, a program that has been providing housing for deaf, blind, and hearing impaired seniors since 2008. William Lajeunesse, live in L.A., with more on that. William. Well, John, the National Association for the Deaf calls this HUD decision atrocious and a tragic irony, considering HUD, HUD helped build the project because the U.S. lacked affordable housing for the deaf, now the agency saying basically it made a mistake and has put a gun to the head of Arizona, saying unless they rent 75% of those units to the non-deaf and blind, they'll pull all federal housing money from the state. As a deaf person, I feel like I have a right to live where I'd like to live. It's quiet here, but plenty's being said in sign language. I'd be devastated. I would cry. I want to stay here. We need this place. Apache ASL Trails is one of the few apartments in the U.S. built specifically for the deaf. Hello. How are you? A video phone lets residents talk with friends. Every unit accommodates a wheelchair. Blinking lights signal the doorbell, disposal, and fans. It's nice to have a life that's equivalent to other people that are not deaf. HUD spent $2.6 million to help build the project because it helped the deaf. Now, however, it says the complex is guilty of discrimination and demands 75 percent of the units be rented to those who are not disabled. To basically say, no, there, there are too many people who are hearing impaired here, it's just, just nuts. The attorneys that I've dealt with at HUD, I would characterize as ignorant and arrogant and much worse, they're powerful. State Housing Director Michael Traylor met with HUD Secretary Sean Donovan months ago to resolve the issue. He looked me in the eye and he said, if you say that we've taken too long to resolve this, you're right. If you say that we haven't handled this well, you're right. Yet five months later, nothing has changed. I'm really disappointed. I'm disappointed with their lack of desire to understand. Out there in the hearing world, it's really lonely to be deaf. So HUD has basically imposed a quota saying that no more than 18 deaf residents can actually live there. John, uh, so as units become available, they have to now be rented to non-hearing uh, impaired residents. HUD had no comment for us. Back to you. What a story. William Lajeunesse in L.A. Thanks.